So after King Solomon died, his son, Rehoboam, became the next king of Israel. And as Rehoboam was trying to figure out what he wanted to do, how he wanted to rule as king, he sought out advice, which was good. And the advice he got was, hey, your dad really worked us hard. <laughs> Under your dad, we built this temple and it was hard work. So we suggest giving everybody a little bit of a break now don't work us so hard like your dad did. So Rehoboam took this advice and then he said, well, let me get a second opinion. So he went to some young people and they told him just the opposite. They said, work these people harder. And that's the advice that Rehoboam ended up taking. He sought out wisdom, but then he didn't like the wisdom that he received. And as a result, the people of Israel didn't like him too much. So instead of accepting him as their king, they actually found somebody else and made them their king. And this is when the people of Israel divided. There was now a northern kingdom of Israel and a southern kingdom of Israel called Judah. But here's simply the point I want to make this morning. When you seek out advice, don't just disregard that advice. Rehoboam did the right thing at first. He sought out godly wisdom, but then he just discarded it because he didn't like it. And that led to the kingdom of Israel splitting. So here's the thing. Seek out godly wisdom and listen to it. Be humble and accept the instructions that God gives you through them. It's an ongoing process. I'm still learning it too. But realize that people older than you might actually know what they're talking about. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.